Hey guys, it's Nick here again, and welcome back for episode 2 of Cooking with Nick. I am your host, Nick, obviously. So, it's been like a year since I've made one of these cooking videos, and it seems to be kind of popular. So, back by popular demand, but that only means like two people, I'm finally back to do this, and today, I'm going to show you how to make hash browns. Now the ingredients are really simple. All you need are potatoes. Now the number will depend on how many people you're cooking for. So if it's only you, you might need only one or two potatoes depending on how hungry you are. But if you have more people, you need more potatoes. I, I, I peeled them before. So yeah, always peel your potatoes first. And then we need a little onion. Now onion is optional, but it helps it give good flavor. Now you can pre-grate it like this if you want, but how I usually do it, I just grate it straight into the potatoes after I'm done grating potatoes. Then we'll need an egg, a beaten to help bind this together, and some flour to help bind it together too. Alright, let's get straight to grating then. Alright, now let's get to grating. Now for grating I like to use well, cheese grater, obviously. You could get away with a food processor, but it kind of messes with the texture, so... I use a cheese grater and a colander to hold all of this. So, obviously, you know how to grate potatoes. Just grate that so. Now, if you need to, you can flip the potato around. So if it's getting too small. Then when it gets to that tiny, throw it in the sink. Rinse and repeat. Alright, so now that I peeled all peel them actually no I already had them peel <laughs> now that I grated all these potatoes it's time to rinse them and I like to rinse them a little bit so that they don't go red or brown or whatever color it is I don't know if you know Since I already pre-graded it, I'm gonna add like maybe one, two, I don't know, maybe maybe three spoonfuls of onion. I think normally it'd be about that much, I think. I don't know, it's, it's been a while. So I I believe that it would be that much onion. Now you can add more or less onion depending on what you want. Then I add the egg. And then about... I usually tend to do three spoonfuls of flour. Just because sometimes when you're frying it, it will fall apart if you don't have enough flour. And just mix them with this spoon. You can mix them with your hands. But I like to mix them with a spoon. Okay, so now we have it all binded together. We used the rest of the flour. The, cons the consistency should look something like this or similar to this. Yeah, now it's time to fry. Now, we already preheated the skillet. Now, now, I personally like to use bacon grease, but you could fry this in any oil you want. Like, you could fry it in, um, olive oil, vegetable oil, peanut oil, Crisco. Pretty much anything except clarified butter, because that does not taste that good with potatoes. Alright, it's time to fry. 
why it's time to add about a spoon or something of oil. For me, baking grease, but for you it would be just a little bit of olive oil or something. I think it's maybe a little too much oil, but that doesn't really matter. More oil means more flavor. Okay, now if you're using baking grease like I am, you just want this to become liquefied. You just wait for it to melt as so. Then, next day, just run. Now, just take think about a handful, maybe a little less. Okay, now, now that we have it frying, we need to uh, spice it to taste. And also, I'd like, I prefer that you have some paper towels ready to drain off the excess of grease. Now, here I just add a little bit of salt, any kind of salt will do, like regular table, that Morton stuff, sea salt. I prefer sea salt, but since we don't have any of this, will do this, but not too much salt though, because the baking grease is salty enough, but if you're using regular oil, then do not need it. And some black pepper. Alright, now you want to fry this until one side has become perfectly golden brown. So, it's time to flip. <clears throat> Like so. I've, okay, now here's what I do. I, I like to salt and pepper the other side too. This is optional. Uh, you don't have to salt and pepper the other side, but I personally like it. Okay. Now we just gotta wait for this side to become golden brown. I think it might already be good. It might be perfectly golden brown now. I just can't quite tell. I believe that's perfect. Alright, I think it's just about done, so let's transfer it to a paper towel to drain. Now I like to put it on the paper towel, pat it a couple times, and flip it over. And then you take the sides of the paper towel and just pat it like that. Alright, now let's get this bad oil on the plate. stage is topping this bad boy. Now you can put pretty much anything you want on these. You could put you could put uh, cheese on them, you could put uh, sour cream, uh, hot sauce if you really wanted. Uh, pretty much anything under the sun. this bad boy like a pancake almost. Spread it around a little bit. And then just take a quick bite. Mm. Oh man. Now that is a 
Smash Brown. Thank you. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, please leave a like on this if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. I don't really care if it's thumbs down. I'll just do whatever I want, okay? And hopefully, if you liked it, please comment below what you think. And uh, that's it. This is Nick signing out.